Yo, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's tutorial, you will take your Telegram bot to the next level in 2023 by connecting it with ChatGPT. This tutorial will take you through the integration process, enabling your bot to engage in more intelligent conversations. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, for this specific video, we are actually going to use Zapier to help us do the automation or the integration process between ChatGPT and our Telegram bot. Let's get started by going and opening our Zapier account by going to zapier.com. And here is the website. So simply here, you just have to log in to your Gmail account or Google account. So as you can see, choose any account of yours and wait for it. And there we have it. So now we are on the Zapier official dashboard. Now here is the twist. On the left, you will find this sidebar menu. Go ahead and click on apps and then you will be directed to this page. So now, there is so many things that we need to add. First app is simply ChatGPT. So by writing it like that, clicking on connect, another window will be opened for us. So here, we need to get an API key. Create an API key, as you can see, we have to log in. As you can see, login with Google, same account, and wait a little bit. And here we can simply create a new secret key, which is going to be our API key. So let me do that real quick. And there we go. So now I have connected into my ChatGPT account. Let me just test the connection real quick by testing the connection button. And there we are successfully tested. Now, the next step is basically connecting our Telegram bot. Well, basically, if your Telegram bot is on one of some famous uh, platforms, you can simply just search for this platform app right here. Well, since we don't have the platform, you can either go and connect your Telegram directly, or you can do a little bit of payment so you have to do some payments to get to add a custom app which is a custom app which is gonna be by the end your bot so by clicking on manage plan over here so here is the menu go all the way down to upgrade your plan you will manage to find the plans and pricings so guys on this page if you want here you'll find the professional plan so the professional plan or the team plan, it is up to you to choose which one to go for. But it started with the professional plan since they will give you the unlimited premium apps and the custom logic with path. So through these two options, you will have the ability to contact the support and add any kind of app that you have in mind as a custom app that will be added only to your account. Only you will have the access to the specific app. So for us, simply all we need to do is to connect to Telegram because I don't have a bot in my hands. So for now, I'm just going to leave it empty. Make sure to test the same connection with Telegram as well. And then after you connect both ChatGPT and Telegram bot, go to create Zap. And there we have it. So here we are on this page where we're gonna, going to create some magic. So this text box, this text box is actually going to allow us to create a prompt. A prompt is basically a text which describes what function do we want this app to do with another app. For example, when someone asks the bar for something on Telegram, answer should come from chat GPT generate and wait so here we go let's wait a little bit and there we have it so 
Telegram chat GPT response. For example, this is just an example of Slack. New public message posted anywhere. It will be a conversation in chat GPT and then the message will be sent through Telegram. If this is suitable for you, you can click to try it. If not, you could just go and cl click on try again and it will manage to give you another example that you thought of. But in general, as you can see, if you weren't very specified, it can give you the same thing over and over again. So let's keep this as our example and let's move on from this example. So first of all, if you like this app, click on try it. And then you will get all the apps that will be included in this specific automation. And you have to connect each one to your account. So I think I do have account for each one of these. So simply just click here as continue, click on continue, and then a trigger must be tested. For example, if you do have a Slack, then they will see if there is any messages that has been going on in your Slack in the recent uh, like three days. If there was any message, that means your account is good to go. Then continue and you should go to the next account. The same thing goes for ChatGPT. Click here, continue, and then the action is to test something. For example, for us, we're just going to leave it as it is. A user message, it can be um, as text here, as an example. And then just continue. Then this step, we can test it, you can leave it. But in general, we don't really have to. You can just skip it and it will still work for us as you have seen here. Now for the Telegram, also is important to connect your account. Well, instead of Telegram, it's, it will be your bot normally. So it really varies, guys. It can be your bot, it can be whatever thing that you are going to connect chat GPT into it. So here's a click to sign in. And if you do have a bot, you can give us the API. Or if it was a phone number, you can give us the phone number. And that's it. Then after you finish, click here to turn it on, as you can see. And then if there is any problems, make sure to fix them to publish. And there you have it. It will be published for everyone to see. For another thing to make a point of is that if you have freezed the maximum amount of zaps, you will not be able to make any more zaps. So make sure guys that your account has enough zaps to be created and you have enough tasks to make. For example, this account has only 100 and only five zaps to be online at the same time. So if I did have five at the same time, I would not be able to create a sixth one and some will go on. So that's why if it wasn't necessary, you can get a new account each time and right create multiple accounts so they can do the same task if you do want to so save a little bit of money. And yeah guys, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial.